Hello, this is Ironhead41. Boy, anytime you're dealing with propane and and pressurized gas, you really should consult a professional. Uh, you should contact your propane company before you go to modifying a tank. I modified this a couple years ago, did a video, put it up, and man, it, after about an hour, I took it back down. I was scared somebody's going to kill herself. I will be darned, he hooked up the liquid side to his... Uh, household appliance which is very dangerous household appliances are usually the vapor uh, usually the liquid is for engines uh, this one here came off a welding machine and you do hook it to the liquid side uh, car engines forklift engines and uh, big heat and air units uh, over 100,000 BTU can use the liquid and will need the liquid and not the vapor because the vapor won't flow fast enough but I can use this in half on my little canners and <laughs> grills and turkey fryers, except on the liquid, I just barely turn this on. Just just enough, because if you turn it on too much, the liquid flow is so fast, th this whole thing just freezes up really quick. So I just barely turn this on, and then I can turn this one on wide open. Because the residential fitting does not fit into an industrial uh, connector. So I had to take this connector off and replace it. Boy, you lucky you didn't blow yourself up, brother. <laughs> I guess it. I guess you didn't because it was only 5% in that tank. Uh, I would hook it to the vapor side if you're going to use a household appliance. Alright, well that's it. 